Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to import raw data on Audacity. So if you have a raw data, data raw audio file and you want to import it to Audacity so you can now start making um, some kind of changes or some kind of editing, you know, raw data file that is absolutely different from the normal. Here's exactly how you can get that done. The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch Audacity application. Now I'm just going to quickly run you through how you can get this Audacity application. You can launch any browser of your choice. In the search bar, type Audacity. And once you type that, it's going to take you to the official website. Now in there, follow the on-screen prompts and instructions to download. And after downloading, the next step is to install. After installing successfully, it's going to take you to this fantastic homepage where you can now explore a lot of features to have a great time on Audacity. So now that we're here, let's hop into today's tech, just how to import raw data on Audacity. Now you can choose to import raw data for any reason of your choice. I'm just going to show you right how to do that right away. So let's say, for example, you want to um, import this. Okay, so check the top kind of a screen you're going to see file you can see edit you can see select view transport tracks generate effect analyze tools and help so head over to file and once you head over to file you're going to see a drop down menu now that goes new open recent files close save projects export order and you're going to see import so head over to import and once you click on import you're going to see a more extended menu so here you're going to see audio, MIDI labels, and raw data. So the audio actually allows you to just go to your systems folder to just select any audio of your choice. But then the raw data is just completely different. So head over to raw data and then click on raw data and it's going to take you to your systems folder. So this is my systems folder. We're going to check if we have a raw data that we want and we can now export it. I don't know if I have raw data, but then if you do, this is exactly how you can do. So let's say, let's say for example, I have this song and I want to open it. Let's see if it opens. So it opens and then we have like encoding and like sign system beats PCM by other. And then you have your channels, you have a style set, you have a mount import, example rate, and all of this. So here you cannot even make changes to this raw data all right so this is the encoding so click on that and then you're going to see how do you want to um encode it to be so if you really understand coding languages you're going to see if any of this work for you so i'm just going to stick with what's there and so this is the byte for that as default it announces so you can now choose like no um indians or um uh, little indian and the big indian default indians all right, Indianese. All right, however that's pronounced, and then the channel. Do you want double channel? Do you want one channel? Do you want this all? Let's say double channel stereo. We can leave it to double channel. So, step set, it's the bytes, mm, amount to import, 100% sample rate. So, do you also want to increase the sample rate, or do you want to decrease the sample rate, whatever? So you can just click on that, the sample read, and then all you need to do is to click on import. So let's click on import and see that's important. So I've imported it, and as you can see, this is raw file, really, really raw file. You can do whatever you want to do using this raw file. As you can see, the frequency is just different. It's different from the normal, um, the normal data. It's really, really different. All right, so we go ahead and play and listen to it, and then of course, just like every other other thing that we do, you can now select select whatever you want to do, and then create an effect, and then make changes to it, and tweak whatever you want to tweak, and you're just going to be good to go. But this is the process that you have to go through to import raw data on Audacity. So here you go. Go about this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go. I hope this video marvelously helped you search.